Hello, hello everyone. As you can tell, it's a family friendly quiz. So I hope you enjoy yourselves. I'm not going to wear these glasses. I'm not Marie. Um, I'm just going to give it a second to see if anyone else is joining. I can see that the horn section are taking part. Amazing. Cannot wait. Uh, is it the whole horns as one team or are you competing against each other? Mum versus dad, Eliza versus the rest of you. Let me know. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite a simple quiz. Um, I think there's five rounds of five questions and there's a few different rounds in there so it should be good I'm looking forward to it so yeah just give it a minute because some people uh, think it's uh, said it's starting at uh, three so you're going to give some teams to join in yes they're joining us one team team horn section the horn section come on you can do it guys <laughs> it's just for fun of course <laughs> it's never just for fun is it when you do a quiz <laughs> Um, I've, I've obviously decided to wear my baseball cap, which is making me look quite cool. I was going to wear my quizzing hat, but it was a bit too small for my big head. I won't do any more jokes, I promise. <laughs> Okey cokey. Well, what I'll do is like I say, I'll just give it one more minute because sometimes there is a bit of a lag on uh, Facebook. It says it goes live. I mean, I, that's why I went live a little bit early, um, just to give people a chance to get involved, um, get their team names in, get ready to hear the first couple of questions. So, uh, yes, uh, give us your team name. Um, let us know who's taking part. If you're taking part as a family, maybe you're grown ups against the little ones, maybe one grown up is with a child, one child is with a grown up, that sort of thing. Let me know. All right, I think we've waited long enough to see if anyone's joining in. So we hope you enjoy it today. This is all for a good cause, it's all for the Rainbows Hospice um, and for everyone's health and well being as well. And um, lots of people are doing quizzes on Zoom. I know I've done a couple on WhatsApp, Messenger, that sort of thing. Normally they're late at night, you've had a few. Uh, a few adult drinks um, so it's good that the kids can get involved too right so the first round will be five questions in this one round one is a general knowledge round so here we go and what i'll do is i will repeat all the questions afterwards just in case because it will take too long if people need them you know one by one that sort of thing so question one what is the first name of the current queen of england so question one what is the first name of the current Queen of England? And I've just seen that Paul Table has joined in. Good that you finally found us, Paul. Um, <laughs> yeah, I hope you let us know your team name, whether it's uh, yourself versus the kids or maybe you versus Laura. Let us know. So, yeah, question one uh, What is the first uh, name of the current Queen of England? Question number two. What is the capital of Scotland? So question number two. What is the capital of Scotland? Mm, interesting. And I expect the horns as, a, as a, one of them is a teacher and Laura Table used to be a teacher as well. I'm expecting full marks in the general knowledge round. Um, question number three. How many legs does a bee have? Question number three, how many legs does a bee have? We've got team table versus team, versus the horn section. Team table versus the horn section. Ooh. If there's any other teams out there, let me know. Question number four, in the Nile Valley, Egypt, after 300 BC, what did the Egyptians start to build? In the Nile Valley, Egypt, after 300 BC, what did the Egyptians start to build? And if you joined a little bit late, I will go, quickly go over the questions before we give the answers, just so uh, you know, if you wanna join in still, you still got a chance. And question number five. <sighs> Oh, so we have a tricky maths question, this one. So what comes next in this sequence? I'm going to read out four numbers for you. I need the next number. So we've got one, three, seven, 15. What number comes next? So I'll say that sequence again. It's one, three, seven, and 15. So which number comes next? 
I didn't have it written in front of me. Who knows if I'd get the answer or not. So I'll quickly recap the questions, give you guys a chance to go over all of your answers and then I'll read out the answers and then let us know how you've been getting on. So question number one, what was the first name of the current Queen of England? Question number two, what is the capital of Scotland? Question number three, how many legs does a bee have? Question number four, in the Nile Valley, Egypt, after 300 BC, what did the Egyptians start to build? And question number five, what comes next in this sequence? One, three, seven, 15. What's the next number? You can start shouting out the answers at me. I might not get them before I read out what the actual answer is, but we'll go for each question now in the general knowledge round. Question number one, what was the first name or what is the first name of the current Queen of England? If you wrote down Elizabeth, you would be correct. Question number two, what is the capital of Scotland? And the answer to that one is Edinburgh. Question number three, how many legs does a bee have? The answer I've got here is six. Bees have six legs. In number four, in the Nile Valley, Egypt, after 300 BC, what did the Egyptians start to build? Number five, the tricky maths question. What comes next in this sequence? Can I just, who does a maths question in half term? Sorry, parents probably love it though. Um, what comes next in this sequence? One, three, seven, 15. The next answer I was looking for was 31, because what I'm doing is I'm doubling the answer and adding one. So one doubled is two, add three. Three doubled is six, add one is seven. 7 doubled is 14, add 1 is 15, and then 15 doubled add 1 is 31. So let me know how you're all getting on. And uh, yes, I will move on to the next round, um, which will it is called a rainbows round because we're raising money for Rainbows Hospice through the Casting Rainbows uh, Festival, where loads of people have come together, given their time for nothing um, for free. It's amazing, Marie put it together. It's absolutely fantastic what she's done in literally a couple of weeks. Um, so yes, this question, uh, the questions all in this round are linked to rainbows. So yeah, let me know how you got on in that first round and I'll continue with round two. So question number one, what film has the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow? What film has the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow? Now, the little ones might have to ask mummy and daddy this one. See if they know. Question number two. According to the phrase, Richard of York gave battle in vain, what are the seven colours of the rainbow? So, according to the phrase, Richard of York gave battle in vain, might be a clue there, what are the seven colours of the rainbow? Mm. Here's another one. Question number three. George, Bungle and Jeffrey are all from which really old kids TV program? Again, gonna have to ask mum and dad this one. George, Bungle and Jeffrey are all from which really old kids TV program? Obviously, I'm, I don't remember it. I'm far too young. Question number four. According to Irish tales, leprechauns leave what at the end of a rainbow? According to Irish tales, leprechauns leave what at the end of a rainbow? This is all about rainbows. What can you sometimes find at the end of a rainbow? And question number five, in the UK, in the last sort of couple of months, children have been putting rainbows in their windows in support of carers, key workers, and people in the NHS. But what does NHS stand for? So in the UK, over the last couple of months, children have been putting rainbows in their windows in support of carers and key workers and people who work in the NHS. What does NHS stand for? Mm. 
Good question, eh? So I'll very quickly recap the questions again, just in case you need to hear them. So one, what film has the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow? Two, according to the phrase Richard of York gave battle in vain, what are the seven colours of the rainbow? Three, George, Bungle and Jeffrey are all from which really old kids TV programme? Four, according to Irish tales, leprechauns have uh, leave what at the end of a rainbow? And in the UK, children have been putting up rainbows in their windows in support of carers and key workers people in the NHS but what does NHS stand for? Right giving you all time to get some answers together I am going to give you the answers see how you're getting on and at the end of this round let me know how much you've got It'll be out of 10 so far so it'd be good to see how we're all getting on so question number one what film has a song somewhere over the rainbow that is The Wizard of Oz question two according to the phrase Richard of York gave battle in vain what are the seven colours of the rainbow I've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. And if you know that Richard of York gave battle in vain, it's actually how you remember red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Question number three. George, Bungle and Jeffrey are all from which really old kids TV programme? that I'd never heard of this one before because I'm too young. But um, the answer is actually rainbow so the questions are all about rainbows and the answer to this one was rainbow Pff, ask your dads question four according to irish tales leprechauns leave what at the end of a rainbow and that is a pot of gold and finally question five in the uk children have been putting up rainbows in their windows in support of carers key workers and people in the nhs what does nhs stand for it's national health service so let us know how you're getting on. How are the horn section getting on? Eliza, you show mum and dad what you know? I bet you are. Tables, we know that you've got Holly there, Josh, Natalie, are they putting mum and dad to shame? I bet they probably are. They might do on this next round because uh, <laughs> yeah, some of these questions I didn't know the answers to. Um, probably just a little bit. Um, hmm, we'll soon find out. Anyways, um, so let us know how you're getting on. We're going to the next round very quickly. It's, entertainment so it can be music tv films that sort of thing cartoons we'll see how we get on question number one in the entertainment round what type of let's have a look let's have a look according to yeah what type of animal is sonic the sega computer game character who has recently been in a film mm. Oh, I've just seen all your messages come through. That's why I've stopped talking. Really, really sorry about this. So table got five. The horn section's got five. Becky got the maths question. So well done from before. Paul knows a guy who plays Zippy. <laughs> Stop talking about me, is he? Um, he's a, all right, he actually knows him. All right. Oh, and Eliza's doing extremely well. 10 out of 10. Boom. And so are the tables. 10 out of 10. Oh, my God. It's all to play for. This is ridiculous. Right, I better carry on with the entertainment round. Right. So, question one. What type of animal is Sonic, the Sega computer game character, has recently been in a film? I hope I didn't accidentally say what he was in when I first read out the question. Question number two. In the Pink Fong song, Baby Shark, which shark comes straight after Daddy Shark? In the ping pong song, Baby Shark, which shark comes straight after Daddy Shark? Don't, I can hear you all singing it now. It's gonna get stuck in my head for the rest of the day. Question number three. With a light pink skin complexion with rosy cheeks, glitter freckles, and a smile on her face, who is the main female character in the Trolls films? So with a light pink skin complexion with rosy cheeks, glitter freckles, and a smile on her face, who is the main character in the Trolls films? Mm. Question number four. The 2019 song, I say dance monkey, but I'd say dance monkey, dance monkey. Um, that was number one in many countries in the UK uh, in 2019. Who was the artist? Who who made that song up? 
So in the 2019 song Dance Monkey, and it was number one in many countries, including the UK, um, it was by which artist? And question number five, what is the name of Peppa Pig's younger brother? Right, question five, what is the name of Peppa Pig's younger brother? So I'll quickly go over those again. What type of animal is Sonic? The Sega computer game character has recently been in a film. Question two, in the Pink Fong song, Baby Shark, which shark comes straight after Daddy Shark? Question three, with a light pink skin complexion with rosy cheeks and glitter freckles and always a smile on her face, who's the main female character in the Trolls films? And question four, the 2019 song Dance Monkey was uh, number one in many countries, including the UK. Who was the artist? And question five, what is the name of Peppa Pig's younger brother? Mm. Some tricky ones in there, I reckon. I reckon the young people in the house will know what's going on. So question one, number one, what type of animal is Sonic? He is, of course, a hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog. In the Pink Fong song, Baby Shark, which shark comes straight after Daddy Shark? Now, how does it go? Baby Shark, Daddy Shark, Grandma Shark. Yes, I know that one. Uh, question three, with a light pink skin complexion, rosy cheeks, glitter freckles and a smile on her face, who's the main female character in Trolls? It is Poppy. And uh, question four, 2019 song Dance Monkey is by Tones and I. It's just one person called Tony. Um, question five, the name of Peppa Pig's younger brother is George. So how have you all got on? Some trickier questions there, I reckon, especially for the adults. We are racing through three rounds of quiz. We are now onto something a little bit different. It's a pictures round, yes. Can you believe it? We finally got to a pictures round. And you're thinking, but how's he gonna do it? <laughs> With the wonders of modern technology, that's how. So let me know how you're getting on and I will start with picture number one. Who is this? Who is it? Dun, dun, dun. Question number one. Question number two, who is this? Who is it? Da, 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 da. Question number three, who is this? Oh, managed to catch him. Question number four, who is this? Didn't we look good in the morning together? Maybe not this morning. And question number five, who is this? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Quickly flash them up in front of you again. Question number one. In question number two. Question number three. Question number four. And question number five. How are you all getting on? Call the tables. I've got 14. Team table, 14 out of 15. And the horn section, 15 out of 15. Oh, oh, it's still tight though. It could all change with the picture round though. It could do. Everything to play for. And let's go over these answers. Question number one, that is Bart Simpson. And question number two, this is Taylor Swift. Question number three, that is Pikachu. Question number four. That is the lovely Philip Schofield. And question number five. My favourite artist, Billie Eilish. Because she... Excellent work, everybody. Hope we're all doing well.
And Eliza shouted out, she could poo for one of them. She can have half a point. No, she can have a full point. We'll let her have a full point for that one. Excellent work, Eliza. That's what we like to hear. You're getting the questions right. Now, we're on to the last round. Again, this is a little bit, if you usually brain a little bit, you have a thinking on this one. You five questions and there's connections. And this is the last round, everyone. So let me know how you're getting on. T team table 19 out of 20 so far. Everything to play for. The connections round's a little bit trickier, so we have to see how we all get on. So I'll give you an example. I'll give you four, four words and something will connect all four of them. So my simple um, example is if I said, what connects these four? Summer, winter, spring and autumn. The answer would be they're all seasons. Seems reasonable enough, doesn't it? Is it going to be that easy? Find out. So here we go. Question number one. What connects these four places? London, Berlin, Paris and Rome. So what connects these four places? London, Berlin, Paris and Rome. Mm. Might need a little time on this one to uh, to think about what could connect them. I'll have a sip of water. It is water. Um, pipe down, Chris and table. Um, question number two: What connects these four things? Flag at the end of a motor race. The Jolly Roger pirate flag. Jess the cat from Postman Pat and the keys on a piano. I'll repeat them again. So what connects these four things? Is it the flag at the end of a motor race? The Jolly Roger pirate flag? Jess from Postman Pat? The keys on a piano? I see Josh looking over at the piano now going, hmm. Question number three, what connects these four names? James, Percy, Gordon, and Henry. So what connects these four names? James, Percy, Gordon, and Henry. Right, question number four. What connects these four footballers? Had to get a football question in, didn't he? So what connects these four footballers? Harry Kane, Wayne Rooney, David Beckham and Alan Shearer. So it's Harry Kane, Wayne Rooney, David Beckham and Alan Shearer. Mm. Exciting, it's exciting. Question number five, what specifically connects these four names? Helga, Godric, Salazar and Rowena. Hmm. So what specifically connects these four names? Helga, Godric, Salazar and Rowena. Mm, some tricky questions there, so you might need a second to try and work them out. Why you do, I'll blabber on and read them over again, just in case you missed something. So, number one was what connects these four places? London, Berlin, Paris and Rome. Question two, what connects these four things? Flag at the end of the motor race, the Jolly Roger pirate flag, Jester Cap from Postman Pat and the keys on a piano. Question three, what connects these four names? James, Percy, Gordon and Henry. Question four, what connects these four footballers? Harry Kane, Wayne Rooney, David Beckham and Alan Shearer. And question five, what specifically connects these four names? Hmm, Helga, Godric, Salazar and Rowena. Now, hope you're all ready for the answers. See how you get on. It's very close at the moment between the horn section and the ta team table. One point in it. This could decide. This could decide. Right, so question number one, what connects these four places? London, Berlin, Paris and Rome, they are all capital cities of their country. 
question number two, a little bit trickier this one. What connects these four things? The flag at the end of a motor race, the Jolly Roger pirate flag, Jess the cat from Postman Pat, and the keys on the piano. They are all black and white. Ooh. And question number three, what connects these four names? James, Percy, Gordon, and Henry. If you put down there all trains, all names of trains from Thomas the Tank Engine, you'd be correct. Yes. Number four. What connects these four footballers? Harry Kane, Wayne Rooney, David Beckham and Alan Shearer. Now, they were all England football captains. But if you said they were all England footballers, you can have half a point. But a full point if you said they were all England football captains. And the last question, what specifically connects these four names, Helga, Godric, Salazar and Rowena? Well, they're all the first names of the house founders in Harry Potter. So you've got Godric Gryffindor, Salazar Slytherin, Rowena Ravenclaw and Helga Hufflepuff. But if you just said they're all in Harry Potter, have half a point. Why not? So how have you all gotten on today? What are the final scores on the doors? Let me know. Whilst you do, let me just quickly say that this week's been put together by Marie. She's done a fantastic job. She's got over 30 artists and they've all put their time to do videos, live pre-recorded videos, live videos. Um, and they, they're not getting paid for this. They're doing it out of kindness of their heart all to try and raise money for, for Rainbow's Hospice. And so if you can just give a little bit, I mean, literally like a fiver paid for a day's arts materials for them. And, you know, all of the funding, a lot of charities at the moment, just gone because they rely on like the London Marathon, um, I personally raised money for Rainbow's Hospice, which is the only hospice for children and young people in the whole of the East Midlands. I've done the Dragon Boat Race in Nottingham. Marie abseiled up and down the cathedral in Derby. So they're a fantastic charity. And the money actually goes straight to them as well. It doesn't, you know, and all their shops are closed and stuff like that. So if you can give anything, that'd be absolutely amazing. Um, obviously this quiz might not be the... Uh... <laughs> might not be the reason why you want to give anybody <laughs> but, um there are lots of other things going on and people who well well deserve and i mean paul table's gonna there's a video of him on later he's going live at the weekend he's absolutely brilliant um tom peacock later as well he's fantastic so it's live music there's yoga sessions um and they're, they're in, Ge in germany the guys who provided those videos we've got a, a published author and um, you've got kids the guys who are watching hibernate with me by jemima williams and ben shua it's a published book ben shua is a world renowned artist check him out honestly he's done one man shows all over america and in england and they, they said they're going to do this it's absolutely incredible do the sing and read out the book hibernate with me you will absolutely love it that's at the weekend and trust me it's going to be brilliant so if there's so much going on tomorrow as well there's a Q&A for children's health uh, mental health with um, Bridge the Gap obviously a lot of kids are quite concerned about going back to school and things like that so please tune in for that and, and ask away if there's any questions for parents or children that, that have got any concerns so yeah I, thank you so much for joining in everyone it's been I've enjoyed it hope everyone's had a had a good time um it looks like uh, the Becky, the, the horn section have got a full 25 points and the team table 23 and a half. There are no losers except for me. Yeah, everyone's done brilliant. Fantastic. I, I think you've been absolutely brilliant. I think well done, guys. And you both scored more than Marie. That's the most important thing. So, um, yeah Like share the video if you know anyone who might just want to do a fun quiz with the family, you know let them know about this one um, and let them know about the lovely calls we're doing. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Um, truly, we'd not be able to see you, but we will catch up with you all when, when, when it's safe to do so. But yeah, take care, everyone. Much love and we'll see you soon.